Welcome to Health Hits Experience. The anger is sort of what keeps me going. This is how change works. It's small things all gathered together. Make sure that the rest of the group knows. So I need to know that you have my back on this. Welcome to Health Hits Experience. I am sorry to inform you there's been a terrible curse. Let's try that one more time. I'm your Dungeon Master, Brady Lee. Welcome to the show. So, a couple things to talk about before we get rocking and rolling. Um, maybe that curse will take place again at the end of the show. Who knows? Uh, I sure also, fucking hope not. Everybody has one inspiration token in addition to whatever they already have to use. Thank you, audience. Um, Thank you. I think that there is a display on screen. Warning, there might be content today. Who knows? Uh, that is the fun part about doing an improv show. Uh, but just make sure that you are taking care of yourself as uh, per the huge. Uh, additionally, welcome to the finale. This is it. We're going to rock and roll until we're done. Wow. So that's Whew. going to mean we're going to go until we go. So if you are watching this live, buckle up. If you're watching this in the VOD, I have no idea. Maybe it's two parts. Who knows? Could be anything. Um, but speaking of going long, uh, we are very lucky to have Cam be generous to us to be able to use the studio longer than we should. <laughs> so uh, if you want to see us keep doing the show, consider donating to Cam. You can go to bit.ly slash Cam Erie Donate, capital C A M, and then capital E for Erie and capital D for Donate. Uh, if you support Cam, you support us, because that's how we make this thing. So, um, anyone have any final words that they would like to say before we get started? Crab. 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 Full circle. Full circle. It's all crab. And bring it back around, baby. Okay. And juice. <laughs> it always evolves into crab. Or yep. juice. Juice. Or juice. Juice. <laughs> 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 I'm already starting to use them. All right. Okay. So let's, um, let me kind of talk a little bit about where we're at and then I'm going to get started. Um, but you know what? First, let's do the music. Yeah. Music. Um, potentially. There we go. Okay. So, uh, we last found ourselves in an abandoned warehouse with some beautiful boxes on the map, some grids, some squares, some puddles, and some, you know, jagged edges. Lots of things happened. Um, but where we find ourselves now, we've got um, some folks in the rafters, we've got some folks on the ground, we've got droids that are listening to Hieronymus and some that aren't, and we have Elmira, who is apparently being very scary, which, uh, good to hear. So. That's where we find ourselves. Anyone have anything they want to add just real quick as far as placement before I get started? Uh, Pearl and I are in the rafters. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all we want to say. Right. We're, up, we're up way, way up. You're up way, 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 way Oh, and up. also that if you haven't seen the last episode, that giant circle on the ground for whenever it happens, switch over to the map, is uh, napalm. The entire middle <laughs> yeah, of the warehouse is currently on fire. On fire. Indefinitely. Yeah, indefinitely. indefinitely. Okay. Okay. All right, so... Just seemed like an important thing to bring up. That is important to bring up. Here's where we're going to start. The bullet ripped through her magical and physical armor, creating a gaping wound in her left arm. She looked up to where the bullet came from and smiled. The droids around her were still doing their best to fulfill their directive. Useless things, she thought. I must do everything myself. She reaches out her right arm, and in a wave radiating out from her, time slows to a complete stop. Oh. It's quiet now, nothing moving except for her, slowly making her way through the warehouse. She walks around, drips of water suspended in the air. She skirts droids, some standing straight and some in frozen motion. Then her eyes change from black to white as her true sight activates. 
There they are. She's next to Flux now, circling like a vulture. Her right hand extends, almost touching their time-suspended face. You asked me if I ever cared about any of them. That is like asking a flight tech if they care for their solar sails. They can maintain them, upgrade them, polish them, watch them help the success of their fleet. But they do not love them. Love is not for equipment. Her hand retracts from tracing the space around Flux's face and begins to pull in shadows from every corner of the room, the shadows racing like children to come together as the spell begins to form. Tendrils of darkness emerge from inside of Elmira, lashing out to bind themselves to the shadows that come streaming in. It's a beautiful blade, drinking in the light around it as the magic and shadows dance around its shape. And as though he can hear her, Elmira turns to Fluff. You always pass every test, yet you could never manage to exceed my expectations. Why is this time not any different? The time stop spell breaks, and Fluck, you are face to face with the cold, cutting black <laughs> eyes of Amira. A blade pierced through your abdomen, and she says, Don't worry. I need you alive to download. And the blade comes out of your body. And you are going to take 25 damage. Oh. <coughs> Pearl, you want to go next? Do I want to? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't aware we got a choice. <laughs> um, okay. Pearl. Um, Pearl is going to come flying mm -hmm. across, um, uh, like mock the fast as she can, and she's just going to slam right in Belmira. Yeah, go for it. And I'm not even trying to grab her. I'm just trying to knock her off off the ledge. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then I'll. Uh, Let's roll. Hmm. Would it be like a post strength? That's what I'm thinking. Mm. Um, classic wizard versus wizard strength. Yeah. Podcast. Two wimpy noodles <laughs> flailing against each other. Well, you know. Except one noodle is made of metal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's metal also moving noodle. very quickly. So it's like kind of like one of those like doorstop springs. <laughs> That's one way to go about it. Okay. Um. Yes. So just absolutely. Great strength or. Yeah. Strength v strength. Five. That's a nineteen. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yep. Um, that is where we find ourselves now. Um, so can I land between her and Fluck? Like, if I can't hit her off, yeah. I'd like to at least yeah. Land between them. Yeah. Um, that is is that your turn? Doing anything else? Um. Uh, I'm gonna try and grab her. Okay. I got I got shock grass. The nineteen hitter. Uh against AC? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two damage. You rolled two one. Yeah. yeah. Two, two damage. damage. Alright. Wow. Cool. It's not even a grab, she just like smacks her across the face. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, now it's personal. Now it's personal. <laughs> no. When has it not been personal? I right. think is the question. When I didn't have memories. Oh well, yeah, uh, yeah, that would it be. It became personal later. <laughs> later. Okay. Well, um, so that is definitely a thing that we can do here. So, anything else that you are doing? Um, I don't believe there's anything else. Okay. Yeah. All right. Pearl. Uh, I believe Cyrus, we're next. Okay. 
Just oh. as a reminder, there are planning points still on the table um, that you can use if you would like. Um, but also, I don't know if anybody else saw this, your boy got stabbed again. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'm bleeding a lot, I imagine. That's a gonna big hit. look around and yeah, she she disappears in front of your eyes. Yeah. Right. You were looking at her and gone. I'm going to look around and I'm assuming like look up at Flux and be like I imagine you would have saw Pearl going mock six across yeah. the like, That's where that's how you fall. Yeah. You're like sound Whoa. barrier <laughs> breaks. <laughs> um two questions. First how how wide are the girders? How, how wide are the beams? The beams, um, I mean, what I have on the map is accurate. Beam, so, uh, beam size. Okay. Beam size. I mean, like five by fifteen. Is what I'm having, width and length. Would you allow me, uh, to use my inspiration uh -huh. to switch with rage ability? I have. All right. Like, is it go out of rage and then go back into it. Are you like rolling a random one or are you picking one? Picking one. Using the inspiration token to pick one. It's pretty cool. I'll let the inspiration token have it. Alright, Liz Love is out. It. I'd totally be okay with it like no, the crystal I've... spreading even. But... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If, okay, so you do this, your other arm, your both arms are now full jade crystal. Okay, oh, cool, shit. that's fine. Yeah. Um, Going to teleport. We're going to go back to the teleport. Yeah! Shit. Great, we have a teleport ability now. Didn't know that before. <laughs> well, that saves me a spell slot. You tap into your inner being and you find where oh. the teleport spell came from the first time. I love Cyrus teleporting because he's such a big dude. And then you're right? like, and he just vanishes. Yeah. You're like... <laughs> wow. It's a lot of muscle just disappearing. And go around behind her mm -hmm. and be like... I'm not done with you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tell her. Get him! Get her! Get her! Get her ass! If Nightcrawler and Colossus <laughs> made it and had an offspring, <laughs> that would be a weird kid. It's a very specific reference for a very specific group of people who I'm sure watch our isn't show. There, isn't Nightcrawler like half demon or something like that? Cyrus yeah, yeah. got like goat legs, so it's kind of accurate. There, there you, go. you go. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, you um using the fusion shotgun instead of the thing because don't want to point kill blank her. shooting her oh, point Christ. blank shooting her okay mm. do you get advantage because we're flanking uh okay. it's not advantage she's gonna make a save yeah she's just gonna make a save as long as i don't roll one uh and i didn't so it's okay what kind of save am i making deck save deck save and from that close range it's 2d8 well you have another one right Could be worse. It's plus five now to the damage. What am I deck saving again? Oh, uh, you have to be to 16. Oh, great. I got a 20. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> she takes half damage on, on uh, success. So it'd be a seven then. A seven damage. Okay. All right. Cool. So. Yeah. Does it appear if any of this damage is actually affecting her, slowing her down, or is she just completely shrugging she everything off? She has a hole in her shoulder now. Yeah, yeah. She does have a hole in her shoulder. That, the... I think that, like... Hey, Brady, would I be able to do one more thing? What are you What are you trying to do here? I only moved five feet, so I still have a little bit more movement. Ah. <laughs> I see. Uh, when the shotgun doesn't do as much damage as it hoped, you just wrap an arm around and fucking jump. <laughs> I love it. That's what we're gonna do. That's like a clothesline to the like, next. Oh, level. never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Shotgun is just where she's like, yo, know fuck it. Yeah. We're getting into the pro wrestling area. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I smacked the shit out of her, so I was yeah. just like, leaps Sorry, off pissed. the edge. <laughs> okay, so you will take the whatever damage you're, you're dishing out. Yep, that's that is. F I don't even know what Full fucking suplex. damage that would be. Um, How I high mean, up are we? Like bludgeoning, thirty bludgeoning feet or something yeah. like that. Yeah, that'd be like three d six then. Okay, but she's gonna take half. Yeah. Yeah, but she's not up there. But yet. also, all of Cyrus's weight grappled. is also landing on her. That's true. Cyrus is heavy. Six, six, and one. Okay, mm. you, if you want to say that you land on top of her to make her take the full. Yes. I mean that 13. would be how it'd be because he's. I, I, you're gonna have to roll oh. me a 14. 
Just Four. straight, just roll me a straight d20. No. Oh, I see. Go acrobatics, man. Yeah, I mean, acrobatics actually have a twist in the air. <laughs> and I'm sure acrobatics no, is don't. really <laughs> high why. up on uh, Cyrus's list. Yeah, I'm just real Cyrus high. Yeah. Oh my god, you rolled a 13. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Still taking her down. Mom. Yeah, you you absolutely take her down. So that's um, six, 12, 13 damage. <laughs> yeah, thirteen damage for you. Yeah. Um, and then, well, I'll say seven for her. How about that? Does that make you feel okay. better? Sure. <laughs> okay. She is still no longer. She is still both grappled and no longer above there. So you know what? Yeah. I will take that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Works for me. Okay, Cyrus, that's your turn. <laughs> hey, Hieronymus, what are you doing? Gloves are off. Uh, <laughs> so she is, uh, so. Okay, that's cool. I can get to them. Uh, I got this uh, little droidy person there right near me. Um, so is that, I'm zooming in on the map here. So is mm -hmm. that, uh, where is, uh, what's her noodle? Is she uh, right uh, next to... Yeah, well, we're going to say that we fell here. I'm going to move you, Cyrus. Okay. So we're kind of below now. All right, cool. And that big uh, chalky blue thing is water? Yeah, it's just a poodle. A puddle? All right. Yeah. Um, so Hieronymus is it. going to uh, move over to here. I'm uh, going to take the uh, disengage as a bonus action to get away from that droid. Okay. And uh, uh, try to go uh, stabity stabity uh, into um, Elmira. So. We will bust that really <laughs> Stab her. I'm trying, man. Get her. Get him. <laughs> Get him. Get her. That would be a 23. To hit? Yeah. With five piercing damage and then 13 sneak attack damage because uh, okay, of the well, flankage. The... Great. So, so are we saying flanking is advantage? Um, So the piercing is halved. What did you say that was? Five. Five? Okay. So, and then what is the other 13? 13. Okay. Nope. Come on. Let me actually. Which is probably also piercing, so probably also have. I'll give it to you straight. Because. Um, That's not at all concerning that you're not worried about <laughs> slapping damage on her. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. She's looking at like the thousand hit points. She's like, eh. I mean, to be Got fair. Got a couple to spare. <laughs> To be fair, there was one attack. There was one round that did well over a hundred damage less. Uh, she resisted episode. like all of it, though. Oh, you know what? Can I? Can I? Uh, instead of using my disengage, uh, can I take the opportunity to attack from that droid and use my bonus action for something else, please? Yeah. All right. Hit me. Hit you. Hit well, me, droid. Hit, these guys don't really hit very well. I know. <laughs> I That's like. Why I'm not concerned about. I, it. <laughs> yeah. Like. Eh, eh. Well. Now they do. Okay. 19. Ooh. 19 hits. They didn't hit until now, and now they... Ow! Now they really I'm now sorry! They fucking hit. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Jeez. You can do damage? Uh, these guys, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's up with these guys today. All right, so at any rate, uh, Hieronymus... <laughs> I did uh, ask if you took damage. So Hieronymus uh, kind of uh, uh, jumps across, and as he steps into the, uh, the puddle there to make his way over, um, this guy... Uh, shoots out with this shocking thing and misses Hieronymus but hits the puddle and he gets electrocuted anyways because that's way cooler. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, and Hieronymus, uh, very briefly, his form kind of uh, shimmers a little bit because uh, electricity and shapeshifters. But nevertheless, he manages to uh, stick the blade into uh, Elmira. And then he looks up uh, as the, uh, the blood is dripping down from flux in the rafters. And he says... You got this, buddy. Suck it up, healing word. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to throw a... Rub bedside Third manner. Yeah, yeah. Put a little butter on it, pal. <laughs> uh, so uh, we'll heal you for five. 
This is the second it. time this boy's gotten stabbed through the abdomen. Yeah, <laughs> the, the last time was the sternum. I want to be very clear. There are two very different spots. Yeah, now I have two different scars. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Cool. Soon I'm right. going to have the full stop. Line there you go. <laughs> go to Cyrus. Stab me here, please, for like, making so it even. I, I just need one, like, right in the center. It's a collection. Right? And that is Hieronymus's turn. Okay, ending Hieronymus's turn. Excellent. Hey, Flux, what you doing? I am bleeding. Uh -huh. <laughs> How's that going? For um, so I think, so after he got stabbed, everybody flew in immediately. Uh, so Flux has... This time you got to see it. <laughs> yeah, this... Uh, Flux is just sort of... He basically just fell back and hit one of, like, the bits of the, the thing holding up the, the beams that we're mm -hmm. standing on and kind of slowly sliding down it. <laughs> it's like... <coughs> Gotta reach up to my communicator. I think... I think now is the time, guys. You might want to come in before I... pass out. <coughs> I'm going to call in our friends. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're spending... I'm going to spend one of our planning tokens, mm -hmm. and we're calling in our buds that we brought with us. Okay, what are, you, what are we doing? Uh, so first things first, I positioned him right outside, so he's all ready to go. Um, right by the door where those four androids are, mm -hmm. right over there, mm -hmm. uh, the door is suddenly going to explode off the hinges... I don't know if it was already open. I think it was already open. They're all open. <laughs> yeah, but for the drama. For the, the drama, drama, the door closed and it exploded. <laughs> yeah, they, they right. snuck in. Everybody turns and looks as the garage it. door slowly closes. Everybody's <laughs> like, what the hell? And then all of a sudden, boom, it explodes. <laughs> it explodes with fire everywhere. And um, our delightful bartending droid is going to wheel in. Okay. <laughs> as Sprocket with his forearms is holding four Molotovs. One for each hand. He's shaking them up to make sure they're real good. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's going to start chucking. He's, he's throwing towards all the robots, getting the distraction in. Uh, and he's, he's, he's causing a, a big ruckus. But he's wheeling over towards where, like, Elmira is to make a distraction. Okay, so ping for me on the map real quick where you're coming in from again. Uh, let me just... He's coming in from over here. Okay. Uh, he's basically causing a lot of noise and damage so that Elmira okay. knows that she can't just focus on us. Mm-hmm. It doesn't even matter if he actually hits anyone. It's just like there's chaos. fire everywhere. There's now. fire yeah. everywhere. There's so everywhere. Much fire. Yeah, Robin, you want to draw me some fire on the map? Yeah, please draw me some fire on the map. Um, okay, so I'll say Sprocket before Sprocket ends up, um, and I'm going to we'll we'll roll some deck saves for the. There's only two of the the droids are not listening to Hieronymus as the captain. Um, so, uh, there's two of them that will roll decks. Well, okay. So, eh, they both, they, the, okay. So the two that have the little markers on them, um, they are stuck. Um, but the ones that don't, uh, dodge out of the way, so. They, yeah, they dodge real, real good. Um, Rocket's just here to cause a distraction. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I will cause chaos on purpose. This is for lesser chaos overall. <laughs> um, okay, so and that and so are we doing here? Flux is gonna cast cure wounds on himself. Okay, perfect. Because cool. I'm dying. Um, just gonna do it at first level. Oh my god, I missed entirely. Uh, okay, that's just eight hit points. So I'm actually doing pretty well now. So okay. that's the end of my turn. I'm just sitting <laughs> on the yeah. girder. Very slowly working on reloading <laughs> my gun. Great. It's not going very fast. Oh no. Okay. All right. Now it's the droids' turns. Um, we still have several of them that are listening to Smiten, who's not even like. Are you still as Smiten? Uh, yeah. Well, you know what? We can. Uh, yes. Although it did kind of shimmer a little bit when yeah. the electric shock. Came, okay. But, uh, Perfect. Still ma trying to maintain that. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna say right now that we only have two droids that are going to be of any. Um, actually, you know what? You brought him in. We're gonna fuck him up too. Fuck him up. Well, I'm gonna fuck up Rocket. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Let's. Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna go around the. We're gonna go around the room and see who gets hit by what. Hey, do you wanna pull up Rocket's sheet for me? I got it already. Thank you. All right. Thank so. You. Um. Ten. To hit. To hit, misses. And 15. 
misses because he's got mage armor. Okay, cool. So the two that are um, by Sprocket, swing and a miss. And Hieronymus. Yeah. Sprocket just like sprays Nine. something in their face. It's just like carbonated water. Nine will miss. Okay. So it like burns. <laughs> Cyrus. Yes. 20 to hit. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So... Probably pissed her off a little bit. <laughs> It's fine. Let's just do it. Yeah, you're, there's, you've got other things on your mind here is what's happening. So, uh, seven damage. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's yes. fine. What, what type of damage is it? Just might as well check. Um, lightning damage, I believe. Yes. Because uh, the, the, the droids only really have one thing they can do. Because we're in the future. <laughs> we're in the future. Everything uses lightning damage in the future. Yeah. Um, Barbarians are just screwed forever, I guess. Sorry to all barbarians ever. Um, okay, so that's their turn. And we're back to the bitch herself. Um, cool, so she is grappled, yes? Yes. Cool. Well, I mean, I, I guess, I don't know. You tackled her off the thing, right? Yeah, tackled her off the thing. Yeah, you tackled her and she is grappled. grappled. Cool. Um... Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Three, and one, four. Okay, so we've got three and I. I'm bad at math. Sorry. Uh -oh. Um. Okay, so we're going to do, you know what, just do this. Okay, cool. So because you are holding Elmira, you are getting hit point blank oh. by some magic missiles. Cool. Um, and that's 10 damage to you. Okay. Um, and... What happens is that it just, like, however she is pulling in her magic, which is a lot of dark shadow tendrils, it just comes out of, like, basically the middle of her. And so because you are grappling, it's just straight into your death. Mm. Just boom, 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 boom. Oh. Four of those uh. directly into your death. Um, but... I will let you still continue to grapple her if you are just absorbing that. If it wasn't so pissed off, then I'd say uh, not grappling anymore. But no, he's, he's a little bit actual angry now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Great. He did just get shot point blank. Yeah. Yeah. I would also be a little angry. Um, okay. So that's her turn. Carl. All right. Robin. Okay. Got the idea? Yep. So I am going to spend one of our planning points mm -hmm. um, and have Schmel and Fazbro um, kind of double team Elmira as like a distraction. So I want I want to have Fazbro get on her head like a feral cat, <laughs> like just like just yeah, like just go clinging. absolutely fucking nuts, and then Schmel can have his stun gun to just be like ha ha. Schmel <laughs> can do his smell things yeah yeah okay. might blow up who Cause, knows cause we I had them know. hiding up like in the rafters, in the rafters. Like, above everything else yeah. like they weren't even visible they were like flat on the on the ceiling mm -hmm. yeah okay they spider down yeah they were um, down yeah like cool action cool heroes. action yeah. heroes yeah Fastro just lands on top of her head like yeah like a raccoon yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> dropping down like tom cruise in the first mission impossible yeah, yeah. But, like, Schmel's but, like, got her by a rope like uh, yeah, <laughs> she, she keeps dropping really like awkwardly, like like a couple like couple layers to it. Okay, well if you want her to be um, really feral, mm -hmm. then we might as well just use the kick in a knife. Yeah. Sure. Right. Okay. I think so, at this point we're kind of just trying to use this as a distraction for mm -hmm. us, right? So yeah. we can back off. I yeah. I can give her damage. I mean, that's fine if you want. Yeah. Let's give her a little bit of damage. You guys want. 
some damage for her, yeah? Damage. 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 Okay. <clears throat> um, well, the kick doesn't work, but it, I would assume it's because the leggies are... <laughs> She's too short, she can't yeah. get them underneath her. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the claws that really matter. Yeah, it. okay. So that knife works um, a little bit. And... Okay. All right. So... Get her. While, um... Let me, let me say, we'll say what Schmel is okay. doing, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah. Pull, put her down with, like, all right, here you go. Uh, um, Get and, <laughs> uh, and then tied the rope around a beam and mm. rappelled down himself. Um, and, <coughs> uh, Schmel did a, you know, a good old one-two... Um, and kind of got caught a little bit in the crossfire of Fazer's kicking. Just like, <laughs> huh. you know, there's there's a lot going on. He's got on. like a black eye. Yeah, like, uh. <laughs> um, and the- Fazro, don't kick Schmel. The chat will go nuts. <laughs> They'll hate you. The impact of it sets off a puff of the purple smoke that comes off of him sometimes. Um, but this time with his harness vest on, it like shimmers over his body. Mm-hmm. And- you can see that there's that purple magic moving on top of his skin. Ooh. And instead of it going outwards, it goes inwards for a moment. And he begins to change. Um, oh. He grows a little bit taller. He gets a little bit hotter. What? He gets a Uh-oh. little bit more purple and what? pink. Uh-oh. That's possible. Um, huh? Uh-huh. And well, now I what? Now. <laughs> <laughs> and he's he's much taller now, and his eyes glow completely purple. Um, and he's much more confident now. Ooh. I'm uh-huh. losing way too much blood to know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, and so Schmel is going to oh, I forgot. more like super Schmel. Jeez. Yes. Um. Actually, if if you were to say Schmel to him, he might not quite recognize the name. But um, he's very confident now, and boy howdy, does he do some damage. Howdy doody. Whew, do some big damage. Um, does he just like punch her? And she's, like, uh, so he, he grows basically like a magical weapon out of his arm, and it's, cool. it, it's really cool. cool. It shines, yeah. it shimmers. And it's a, just a big fucking mace, and just does a does a hit, and comes on the downswing, and does another hit. That's a lot of damage. Uh-huh. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Um, fuck. And what the fuck? <laughs> Glad he's on our side. You picked yeah. the right guy to charm, really. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> and um. There's something different about his face, um, but you you watched him change, so you know where who this is. But mm-hmm. there is something different and magical Don't, and soothing about him now. Oh well, that's good. Yeah, you look at him and you feel soothed. I was worried about not being soothed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because he was exploding. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was gonna blow up. But uh, he he did a little bit into this bigger, larger, beautiful version. Okay. Yamba's going to be so excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, um, because you called Schmel, mm-hmm. if at any point you want to put him back into rotation, um, you can potentially tell him to go somewhere else. Yeah, he's certainly try. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So just so you know, I'm I'm giving you like the continuous planning point for that. Okay. Um, anything you want to do for you? Um, I would just like to grab Luck, just so gently, be like, right, "Come on, <laughs> time to go." Right. Uh, and then I'll yell down to Cyrus, be like, "Cyrus, let's go!" And then I'm going to fly us like further away from yeah Elmira. Okay. Beautiful. Take that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Let's leave. Just Let's put yourself where we're out. going. Um, I'll just, I'll follow you. I guess we'll just kind of like, you know, far enough away. Are we on the ground now? The yeah, ground's you're... a dangerous place. Yeah, but we're going to need to be there. Yeah, so. okay. I'll land us 
on the ground. Okay. Oh, Sprocket's coming this way. You're on the ground. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hello. Okay. Um, yes. Great. Excellent. Uh, Cyrus, mm -hmm. it's your turn. Um, I'm going to say at this point you're not grappling her anymore because the larger, more beautiful smell <laughs> um, just... Um, and she, like, it looks like it almost took off her arm. Like, just real, real bad shape. Um, lots of liquid. Wow. Just a big hit. Maybe, maybe we should just let Schmel do Maybe we should just leave yeah. you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> let's start. <laughs> let's let's bounce. Schmel's got this. You two got this? Okay, have fun. All right, we'll, uh, we'll meet you at the movie theater. All right, great. Yeah, just let us know when you're done ragdolling the big bad villain. You're like, Whoa. <laughs> um, and, uh, and yeah, so the calm demeanor that she had up until a few moments ago is gone. What? Good. Um, As it should be. Yeah. Like, come on now. <laughs> at this point, we're this Fucking has cracked fun. through the exterior. Um, and the the darkness that is her magic is escaping in places where there are open wounds. How's mm. that for your expectations? <laughs> you didn't hear this. No, but it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Bitch. Um, okay, so, Cyrus, mm -hmm. what are we doing? All right, so, um, Cyrus is going to just teleport <laughs> get the fuck out of there get the fuck out okay Put and shit I'm out. um then he's gonna reach out and be like all right rock squad your turn come in clean up we got them as the cleanup crew yeah okay they're definitely elbow dropping down from the rafters, right? Just like oh, WWE yeah. style, the on. people's elbow. <laughs> they got steel chairs as they come down. Where'd they get those chairs? <laughs> Why were there chairs up in the rafters? <laughs> You'd be surprised what you find up there. Those um, three hours of setting up were just them being like, so how do we get chairs? <laughs> we want chairs up there. Right. Well, we put bit, some in the I storage on the ship, but we want them up there. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to stand up here waiting for it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Right, just, just wait. Just wait. You'll get it. You'll get your turn. You want the rock. Rock Squad to take her out, um, or do you want them to just hit her in the face and I don't actually roll for damage? They should probably just like hold her, right? Yeah, you just want to hold her. Just hold her. Okay, grapple her. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, they come down. Only one of them has a steel chair, and it's Brax. Um, <laughs> it makes sense for him. He just got the yeah. name for it. Yeah, he's got the name for it, and they surround. They like come down, boom, and they surround her, and they all with their big, muscly, carved stone arms. Literally chiseled. Literally chiseled. <laughs> they Literally reach chiseled. out and they grab every limb that they can um, to make sure that she doesn't go anywhere. Um, and there's because of their their stony exterior, they are able to plant themselves and nothing is moving. Nothing, nothing is moving. Except for maybe a slight twitch on her face. Cyrus, is that your turn? I'm gonna get up too. Just stand okay. up. <laughs> Alright, you're up, you're up, you're up, you're up. Alright, Hieronymus. Mm. Hieronymus uh, is right there uh, by her. Mm hmm. And uh, as she is surrounded by a rock squad and being held in place, mm -hmm. um, Hieronymus says, uh, You look like maybe we made you a little mad there. You still smiting? Uh, you know what? Um, he still looks like Smiten, but he's talking in his regular okay. voice. Great. Cool. Um, and, uh, he's, so, I mean, is she still struggling against him? Is she standing? She's trying. She, it, she, you can't see any struggling from her because they are holding her so locked Yeah, down. yeah. So she's only casting spells with verbal components. <laughs> We're not playing that game at this far in D&D. &D. Are you kidding me? I've not once made you collect any components. I haven't needed any, to be fair. Um, You're not the only spellcaster here. 
spells are verbal only. <laughs> um, so uh, Hieronymus uh, said, oh, what was that you did to Flux? Oh, yeah. And he's going <laughs> to... <laughs> Abdomen yeah. in the abdomen. Uh -huh. I really like imagining her held still and then like Schmel like smacks her in the face of the mace and you're stabbing under and you're like moving around each other. Like a fucking it. pin cushion. Just yeah, exactly. <laughs> love it. Love it. Get her. Um, so. Uh, do I get advantage because she's. Uh, yeah. All she's certainly restrained. Defied. All right, cool. Uh, that is a, uh, 23 to hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. eight piercing and 22 sneak attack damage. Woo. Yeah. Uh -oh. Okay. So, uh, with the half damage on the piercing, the 22 sneak, that's exactly one point more than she did to, to, uh, to flux. Plug. True. Perfect. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, then uh, everybody else is uh, booked way over there, huh? Um, mm hmm. I don't think you need to worry so much about getting away from her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so then, uh, yeah, Hieronymus is just going to stay there right in your face and is going to. Uh, nah, he's going to stay as smite and just keep those other. Robots in check. Okay. Um, Great. So. Yeah. You but he's just kind of just kind of grinning and looking at her, and you know, just being real, right in her face. Yeah. Bit of a brat. <laughs> a little bit. Um, you watch as her, just like deep blue blood, comes just spilling out of the wound that you created yeah. and Perfect. every <laughs> every open wound on her body just seems to push out more and more of this blood and there's not enough energy left in her to respond to your taunting hmm. she is no longer responding to outside stimuli <laughs> oh that's yeah. Don't trust it. Don't trust She's it about at all. to enter her final boss phase. We all know how this goes. This isn't even her final form. That's right. We've all played Final Fantasy games <laughs> enough to have She's going to grow wings. She's going to turn golden. Oh, fuck. Well, fuck that. <laughs> and we're all out of materia. Uh, okay. All right. Hieronymus, anything else you're doing on your turn? Uh, No. Okay. No, nope. nope. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll use the disengage action now to get out of the water away from that dude behind me. Okay, and perfect. And I'll kind of scooch over here between a couple of rock dudes. Okay. Your turn now. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to quickly tap my communicator. I'm going to talk directly to Hieronymus so he can hear me. I'm not saying it very loud because I don't want anybody else to hear it. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to be like, prep thing. You got it? Get ready. You know, the portal thing. You're, you're hearing me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Make sure on same page. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to tell him to do that, uh, and then I'm going to... There's still robots around us and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. There are s only robots by that are actively doing anything um, by where Hieronymus kind of is. Uh, the ones, the, the other two that are not listening to Smiten are heading out the door. They're walking away from the fire. Sprocket made a wall of fire. Good. As he should. We don't get nice. paid enough for this. So the robots <laughs> yeah. are effectively a non-factor? Is that what you're telling me? I'm sorry, repeat that. The robots are effectively a non-factor? Yeah. Okay, so they're either ignoring us, leaving, or just, like, not doing anything. Or not near you. Okay. Yeah. Because there's just one, like, pretty close, so I'm just the sure. one. So if you're looking at necessarily this one here, that is one that has been under the the control of Smite. Right, okay. That, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. That one near you is, like... Because when... Smiten was like, hey, crew, listen up. The plasma fangs in the droids listened, and so they were just kind of like... That also means we know which ones are people we're trying to not kill. Well, right. <laughs> that makes I mean, 
presumably the other people are also involuntary right. test subjects. So. Well, but we, at you least did need destroy to get these several guys. of them. Yeah. <laughs> we just don't know these ones personally. Yeah, we those haven't ones met are. These we'll ones only and... save you if we know you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we Fine. promised multiple episodes ago to save these guys. And I'm just saying we should probably finish that deal. <laughs> Looking at the six that were yeah. killed in one go, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, these yeah. are these are Fazro's buddies, so, so we probably we owe it to Fazro. Knowing that no, Cyrus has up. the ability to teleport, because I just watched him do it, I'm gonna quickly look at you and be like, Can you do the teleport thing again? Yep. You ready? Yep. Alright. Um I'm gonna grab onto your shoulder and I'm gonna say, Don't hit your head. And I'm gonna cast <laughs> enlarge on Cyrus so that he becomes <laughs> twice the size. He's twice the Cyrus he was before. Excellent. Mega Cyrus. Cyrus. Mega Cyrus. He's a beefy boy. I think he deserves it, to <laughs> yeah. be honest. So, yeah, so I'm going to cast that on you, and I'm going right. to look at Almira, uh, and I'm just I'm just going to stare her down. She's, like, she's not looking at anything. Her head is kind of coming down, um, because that is the only thing that can move on her body. She is held tight, yeah, tight, I super, tight, tight. I super don't trust it. So I'm going to send, uh, do we... Do we even want to do the plan if she's... Do we trust that she's... No. No, we, do we don't trust, trust that she's... We don't trust it you at all. You have to overkill her We do not trust like it. Like, like Dev in the double jar. Double tap. Put her like, in a jar. Put all my yeah. in a jar. We do not trust that she's not about to bust out some crazy shit. It's the nope. whole reason I put Dev in a jar, because I didn't trust that <laughs> shit. <laughs> so I am going to look up at Omira, mm -hmm. and I'm going to say, you know, if you really want to still talk to get out of this, now's your last chance. Doesn't even look up. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna start making my way over to her very slowly. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go like there. Okay. So I'm just kind of like arms open. Mm-hmm. Like a cool guy. What's yeah, up? Like, you Are you standing talk? like over the hole? Is that actually like that a hole is a hole in the ground? All right, I'm gonna move there. Okay, okay. So I'm just, not over the yeah, hole. Yeah, I just wanna make sure we're. I don't wanna topple in. Yeah. Be like, talk to. <laughs> 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 Damn it! <laughs> talk to me. Okay, is that your turn, Flux? <laughs> that is my turn. Okay, great. Cool. Um, Big Cyrus. Big Cyrus. <laughs> Big Cyrus. Big Cyrus. Big Cyrus. The reason I grabbed that spell today, man. Good spell. Um, so be, seeing as the pawns are pretty much actively disengaged here from this fight, um, they're not going to. Well, you know what? We'll have one of them fuck up Sprocket again. <laughs> we'll we'll try. Sprocket. Um, what is that to hit? Let me actually pull open the actual thing I want to look at. Um, 15. The hit. Sprocket. Sprocket does not take damage from that. Okay. His AC is awesome. Well, the next one is nine, so yeah, they swing and a miss again. Hell yeah. Um, and there is one in front of PM. So we'll just, we'll just give it another go. See what happens. <laughs> no, that's, uh... 11. Deflected. They're all, they're all <laughs> scared <laughs> shitless right now. They're, they're hesitant. I'm telling you. The dice know. The dice know they the don't want to do it. The dice know they don't want to do it. Um, and that's the pawn's turn. Um, and uh, Almira does not do anything on her turn. So that takes you to Pearl. Um, I would Suspicious. like to hold my turn until after Cyrus. Okay, cool. Um, that means you're up. Or wait. Is it's it Cyrus? Pearl, Cyrus, Heron with Flux. Would it be better to do me than you, or you than me? Shouldn't we all wait for Heronimus? Yeah, we should probably wait for Heronimus, so. So we're all just gonna Holden wait for her. Do you wanna Holden. send Schmel? I don't think you can do anything right now. Okay. Then. That's, so we're just skipping straight to Hieronymus? Yeah, we're all holding for Hieronymus. Okay. Yeah, we all wait with bated breath. All right. Moment of silence on the battlefield. Okay, cool. I just, like, flip her off from, <laughs> like, all four <laughs> arms from across the room. That's, that's your whole turn. Yeah. Um, all right, Hieronymus, then what do you... would like to uh, do a... Uh... Hieronymus would like to do a... Uh... Can I do like a medicine check to see if she is playing rope a dope or if she's actually like near death and I can just like lop her head off? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Um, I'll say 12. 
<laughs> oh, okay. We have no idea. We have no idea. <laughs> you don't know this species in the way they exist, their anatomy. We have tokens. We could use tokens. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to burn a token okay, to, burn to a actually... Token. Holy shit, you have three of them? I never use them. We've been <laughs> collecting them, yeah. Yeah. It's the final episode. <laughs> I, that's why we're using them. I right. still have healing potions from like the third episode that I've never <laughs> roll used. Roll again, then. The true hoarder. Just roll again. I do that in every video game, dude. Yeah. I'm like, what if yeah. I need it later? Well, this is later. I know. This is this the is latest. This is literally the last This episode. is the last time you could use this. 12! Wow. Yeah. You did it. All right. She got anything in reserve? She holding anything back? Is she got some kind of, uh, is like, uh, she just uh, feigning uh, her injuries and she's going to like explode and go supernova on us or something I'm crazy? I'm going to send you a message. Okay. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> no. I don't like this. I, here's the thing is because I think if I say this out loud, it's going to make me look like a bad DM. So <laughs> I'm sending it to the DM that I also trust to understand my vision here. Um, that's specifically what I'm saying. So, do you, do you see where I, what what game I'm playing here? Because it's yeah. not really a very good game. Uh, <laughs> so, oh. so the answer is she's she's almost gone though. So, uh. your last hit took her there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's got basically nothing left. If she were to speak, it would just be blood. All right. Uh, Hieronymus, uh, <laughs> Hieronymus tells the, uh, the rock squad guys, all right, drop her. Mm -hmm. Let her go. Flux, come on over here. Are you sure she doesn't have, I'm limping over. <laughs> mm -hmm. You sure she doesn't have something up her sleeve? She might. Rodimus. I'm gonna grab this stun blade off my belt. But I think that, uh, I think that uh, of all of us here, you need closure the most. I'm gonna look down at Elmira. She, I mean, how bad does she look? Bad. She looks Pretty bad. fucking bad. Like, like Hieronymus wouldn't tell the rock guys to, to, to drop her unless she was right. looking bad. Now, you can finish her. Or and choose to do something other than finish her. This is your decision. I'm gonna look down at Omera. I don't think anybody will judge you harshly either decision you make. Flex is thinking of every single horrible thing that this person who's kneeled in front of him has done. He's holding the stun blade. Puts it on his belt. He pulls off the rifle, like his original fusion rifle. He's gonna kneel down next to her. Mm -hmm. This was the first thing I built that I made. I made it. I did it. It had nothing to do with you. You never really got to see it, and I always kind of wanted to show you that I'm not just your plaything. Right now, as I'm looking at you, and you are dying right in front of me, I want you to know something. I will never, ever be you. And I'm gonna smack her with the back bit of the gun. I'm gonna try to knock her out, basically. Yeah. Just poof. Yeah. He <sighs> drops. She was barely there to begin with, and she is gone. I want to kill her. Yeah. I know you do. That's why I gave you the option to be the one to decide that. <laughs> the world's going to be a lot better off without her. Or... We could find a deep, dark hole somewhere. We could grab those anti-magic projectors that they had in the prison. And we could keep her there to spend the rest of her days regretting everything she'd ever done. 
That is also an option. Which option is more fitting and is she more deserving of? That is a decision, like I said. I think you, and to some extent, Cyrus, probably should make, as you are the two who are most directly wronged by her. Cyrus? Uh... Again, no judgment here. But I can't make that decision for you. And I don't think Pearl can either. If she were to ever get out, what she would do, I... You know, one experiment to another. I imagine there's probably some way we could find to take the magic right out of her. Wouldn't that be karma? What do you think? I feel like that would work. Yeah, I think so too. I don't believe I have a jaw big enough to... <laughs> yeah, she's gonna... We're gonna need to probably put her in something a little bigger than that. I'm gonna kneel down next to Elmira. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna do the thing where I sort of like wrap all the tentacles around her and try to like pick her up and be like, You know... <laughs> Cyrus is actually your thing. You're the you're the strong one. And he's also very big. He's right also now. very big right now. So, oh you know, yeah, Cyrus literally lifts up with a hand. I'm gonna get the blood off me and be like, all right, well, I, that's actually, <laughs> actually that only is gonna last for 30 more seconds, so be careful. Uh -huh. <laughs> Could crush okay. her right now. <laughs> um, and uh, Hieronymus, thank you. Welcome. Not many other people would give me the chance like that. You've earned it. You've earned that chance. We'll see. I have a lot of making up for things to do still, I think. Don't we all? Yep. Well, with her out of the picture, we got a lot more time, don't we? Potentially. You know what this means. Rocket, <laughs> you got drinks on ya? <laughs> oh, shouldn't we take care of that? Right? Yeah, we will. We just we we deserve it, right? I'm not arguing with you. However, um, this being is horribly powerful. Oh yeah, of course. And it took our entire crew to get here. And I would prefer it if Rope. you didn't. I have a net. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, use the net. net. Just like throw it over your fucking yeah. shoulder. Yeah. I was just All right, shrinking well. down. Throws <laughs> it over the shoulder. Great. You like tie Perfect. your hands and shit too. Yeah. Like, just make sure she's extra. Cool. Oh well, in that case. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as we're having this fun little wrap up moment, the very beautiful, um, almost schmel. Uh, oh my god, I forgot about you. <laughs> what the fuck? He puts a hand on your shoulder, and you are all healed. Truly, because that was a 22. Smell? Hmm. I do not know if smell is correct. But I like it. What <laughs> happened to you? You just caught taller? No, this is my normal height. A little bit more purple. Mm -hmm. It works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As someone else who glows, I get it. You know. Very nice. I like you it. still play the violin. Um, I believe so, yeah. Um, and, and you're talking to kind of Schmel a little bit, and then the ripples start again, and, um, Schmel starts shrinking back oh, a little uh, bit, uh, um, uh, uh. and, uh, kind of for, for a second, like, falls down. Whoa, okay. uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got him? Got him. Um, Got him. No, no, and no. then he's he's up again, and it's Schmel again. What happened? What was that? Can you tell me? What no. Just happened? Okay. We would love to. Uh, was... What did it look like 
to you. You turned bigger and uh -huh. bulkier uh -huh. and and rather handsome. Purple. Yeah, I mean this oh. in a good way, but you turned like really hot, oh. and you look really um, good normally. But... Okay. but you didn't really like the name Schmel. Um, I don't use beautiful often. <laughs> Beautiful fit. Beautiful fits. Mm. Now not that you're not beautiful now. I mean, you were damn you, hot. You were, it was a whole oh. nother level. You were damn hot. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Are you just trying to make Pearl jealous? No. <laughs> no, this is a different this is a different circumstance. Um you were absolutely damn hot. Okay. There we go. Right. I mean fact for fact. Um <laughs> So I think I figured some things out. Right. Uh-huh. I might be able to do it again. Okay. I think I'm gonna wear this from now on. Okay, probably, probably a good idea. idea. Yeah. 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 Um. Oh shit. I'm okay. We should probably tell Otto not to fly the spaceship into the mountain room. <laughs> Otto, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Otto, <laughs> and you, you hear over your communicator just this little like. <laughs> you know what? Uh, uh, what? What was that? <laughs> no, you just spoke. <laughs> what did you just say? Wait. No, what? you said. What? what did you just say? <laughs> what? Wait. Where? What is happening today? <laughs> where did you learn that? You know. Wait. 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 You know what? Before we do any of that, let's take the really dangerous space criminal to jail, and then talk about it. <laughs> All right. All right. I I do want to point out if we take her to jail. Not actual jail. Yeah. Like our jail. Okay. Yeah. Just... It's, got, it's got like a bear in the back. <laughs> We've got more morals. In our jail. Okay. We don't. Uh, so. You don't. Um, but I do think it's funny if that's how you're saying that this jail is better. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. Here's what we're going to do. So we've definitely found ourselves um, in a very fun time. Okay. So. Whew. A lot of things are going to happen next. All right. Okay. What I would like to do is make it clear that these are a series of vignettes. We're going to see what happens with the Ether Bastards in small, little increments. Step by step, we will see where they go, who they talk to, what happens next. Um, not all of it is going to be as immersive as it normally is, but I will give you what I can. <laughs> Let's start with why don't you all tell me how you complete your original mission here in Edu City? Well, we got to go make sure the rest of that uh, machinery can't ever be used again, right? Yes, but we should probably get the information off of it first so yeah. that we can bring it back. Uh, at the Good plan. Less of a time crunch. So, we're going to go do that. Okay, mm -hmm. what does that look like? What are you doing? Um, what? what what do you try? I imagine uh, we're uh, we're bringing Fazrael. Okay. She's very very good at disassembling things. She so we're just is. we're just gonna we're just gonna plop her in the middle of the room and be like go nuts. Go nuts. And have then fun. have fun. And then, yeah, I, and then Flux is gonna go to the computer. <laughs> Call and he's, us he's when gonna... there's just a pile of parts. <laughs> <laughs> so what what are you having her disassemble specifically? Uh, like the tanks, the control room, the. Yeah, we pretty much need to make sure all the tanks are pretty much yeah. totally unusable. Okay. Yeah. So tanks with life forms in them. As long as we can get them out. Alive. Okay. We're leaving the ones that are alive still if we can't get them out without mm -hmm. them just fucking dying. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think maybe you tr you try one of them for someone you don't recognize, and yeah, because those ones don't matter. <laughs> yeah, right. Because you only have one group of people you're, you're yeah. here for. But yeah, it doesn't go well. Um, first time you you drain a tank and you're like, it's fine. They should be fine. Oh, good. Um, and they do not wake up. We got to put the people back Are in they... their their bodies. They're still alive though, right? Um In the same way you The one Eurydice you is, just right? tested is not. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't eat them. <laughs> um but yeah, so I think we we already sort of talked about this. We're going to So there's still a bunch of those androids like just walking around in the in the warehouse. In the warehouse, right? Yeah. So we're going to bring them back, and we'll probably, you know, 
look around for the machine, see if we can figure out how to do the process backwards. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. We're going to ask them first if there's any sort of sentience there at all. Be like, well, you hey, can probably jailbreak hey. them like you did Pearl. It would just take a while, but yeah. yes. Yeah. So yeah, we'll Flux just like, you know, the process Very slowly of... go through and be like, have a seat, have a seat. <laughs> Open up the back, pull, pull out the, the memory, or the, the, what was it called? The emotion the, suppression, suppression chip. Emotion suppression yeah. chip. Yeah, mm -hmm. remove yep. those. Be like, how are you feeling? Do you want to go back in your body? <laughs> Is your body here? Yeah. Well, you can. That's really What's easy. your name? You can match the the numbers on their droid form to the numbers on the tank, which have their names on the right. tank. So um, any of them that want to, mm -hmm. we will work on putting them back. Yeah. It's probably going to take us a little while, but. It does. It takes you a while um, to the point where regular smell goes up into the spendies a couple times. <laughs> Give, give me a, give me a, oh, he's already. <laughs> well, you want Frosty? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got it. Chocolate uh, or vanilla? <laughs> we have, space chocolate or space we vanilla? We have different flavors in space. Yeah. Ugh. Um, This one tastes like warm. <laughs> it's a delicacy. The power's been off all this time. Yeah, yeah right. Oh. It's, just, yeah. it's just a bowl of soup. Yeah. Ice cream soup. You want some ice cream soup? Okay. Um. Yeah, so the, it's not perfect. Um, you kind of notice, like, definitely there are some, like, errors in the transfer a little bit. Um, but it seems to kind of have done the same process in reverse. Um, and you end up with... How many? <laughs> let me, let me just see how many were actually on the map pair. One, two, three... That weren't whoop, marked. Whoop, four. I think, is it four? Five. There's five plasma fangs that you end up with, and you end up with just also just a guy. Hey. Hey. <laughs> what, how'd you get here? Uh, mm. oh, All right. There's a Wendy's upstairs. Or Spendy's, sorry. Spendy's, yeah. Wendy's went out of business years ago. Yeah, yeah no, it didn't. It wasn't profitable in oh, space. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys pirates? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I love pirates. I'm Great. Gonna Great. I'm going to leave now. Yeah, see ya. Cool. These legs hurt. <laughs> I'll make sure to go up to Gilgar, shake one of his tentacles, be like, I, <laughs> yeah. I think I might need you to come to the lab later. I have some tests I need oh. to run. Mm. It has to do with these. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, you end up with Mobo's sibling, whose name is Grelag. 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 Okay. Um, and uh, they like, are, wow, I'm so grateful. Thanks for that. Uh, do you, you know where my sibling is? Yeah. Sounded a lot like Randy. Nope, nope. <laughs> this is a different voice. <laughs> my my mama told me I was the best of voices, and so this is my real one. And my real voice here. Uh, yeah. Kind of lost uh, track of your uh, sibling, but we'll 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 get you back I'll together just use because our twin telepathy we have. Because I understand, as a team, you yeah. guys are great cooks. We're good. We're, we're pretty. We won best in county fair three years in a row, so it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm spending the rest of the time after we're putting everybody back. We're getting as much out of the PCs as we can, and then we're just yeah wiping it. Yeah, like, Artemis is uh, like, at some point wipe. during this process gonna sidle over and say, "So I know when we came down here originally, you were uh, you were looking at the possibility of uh, of this technology being used to uh, to resolve the problems that uh, that you were facing uh, at the moment." Uh, right. What's, what's yeah. the uh, well, what's your what's your take on that at the moment? Based on all the research we just did, I mean, that's definitely not going to do it. Um, but, I mean, if we're talking about, like, an actual true body, body sort of transplant, I mean, as far as I can tell, maybe, I don't know, maybe there's more we can learn from aura research, something like that. But I haven't looked into it, I haven't really had the time. We should have a lot more time now, though, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Cool. Good. You know, um, based off those documents that we found, they seemed like they needed shape shifters for more of the experimental stuff. You don't say. You mind if I call you in for a few tests? Um, are you, uh, thinking that I'll wind up like that, uh... No. Like that dude no. on the slab back in the prison? No, no, not at all. I more mean, just more for data. That's it. Nothing where I'm gonna be zapping you over and over again unless it's really funny. Yeah, yeah. I think that uh, if there's even the slightest chance that that could uh, could lead to something, count me in. You know, Hieronymus, 
I get the sneaking suspicion that you're actually a good guy. But you are a bastard. I I am. An ether bastard, some might say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's a good night. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get back to work. Go uh go help uh Fazro. He's just like over there like <laughs> <laughs> Um Okay. So we're 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 learning some things, we're putting people back. As we're doing this, uh, Eurydice's tank begins to just beep real erratically. Carl? All right. Let her go. All right. You don't want to even try to... Not at first. Literally, actually, yeah. And honestly, I prefer this version of you, so... Wouldn't want a different one. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> it is going to be weird attending your funeral, though. Yeah, um... It's alright. It's... I just, I don't, I don't feel as though sh she is me, you know, it's, it's like someone who is from a distant memory, and so it'll be, it'll be fine. It, right. It's fine. It's right. fine. We don't even have the same name. It's fine. I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll empty the tank out. Don't worry. Thanks. Messy work. Yeah, I'm going to be on the other side of the room, if you don't mind. Good plan. I'm going to go tend the people who are getting back into their bodies. I have plenty of gel. <laughs> <laughs> Whole hand. Yeah, it. just like way too fucking much, like Vaseline of yeah. all things. Like, <laughs> what was Mobile's sibling's name? Greelag. Greelag! <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Come here, you have some cuts on you. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Excellent. Anything else? Uh, so the, you so we need to uh, make arrangements to uh, to secure... Elmira, Elmira, yep. potato, potato. Yeah. Uh, perhaps uh, one of these tanks could be used to put her into some form of a stasis so that she does not wake up and go all crazy Nova on us. Mm -hmm. Not a bad idea, actually. Truly fitting. I will get right to work on that. Yes. Well, and the prison that we uh, destroyed um, seemed like it had a pretty good start on designs to make sure that your magic can't be used. Yeah, well, if there's one thing the Zolarians are good at, it's that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, we can get to right, right to work. Speaking of the Zolarians, uh, it occurs to me that even though we've taken out this uh, really high level uh, official here, uh, like they're still out there and still an elf empire. Uh, so, um, but uh, you guys probably don't know that uh, there's gonna probably be some video of Elmira uh, embezzling a whole bunch of stuff, sabotaging the uh, the the Keen system, and throwing everything into uh, chaos. Uh, that's probably gonna help the resistance to uh, get the public really, really pissed off at them. And when they show that they have captured the criminal who was responsible for that, and we, you know. Uh, indicate that she has been uh, uh, caught. Uh, that will probably further sway public opinion uh, away from the Zolarian government and toward the resistance. So, yay us. And how did you come across this video? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you later. It's, well, it's a really great story. Yeah, that, I what? didn't even think that was Almira's thing. <laughs> yeah, um, no. Yeah, no, it, it's not. Oh. Yeah, please explain. Oh. You know, I'm not going to ask. We have things to do. No, on, 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 quickly changes on the way back. back Elmira, <laughs> and then quickly changes back. That, right. You know what? That makes that's sense. That's horrifying. How are we that's traveling with the like shape you've been doing this whole time? still not realizing Among other shape things. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. So, are we doing anything with this facility, or are we keeping Elmira here? Is this your deep, dark hole? Uh, it's not deep enough or dark enough. Yeah, no. No, we'll, we'll find, a, we'll okay. find a worse hole. Okay. We are we are disabling everything. I'm taking all the blueprints and all the stuff I can find. Mm -hmm. Basically, going to go home, make one of my own. Make a tank of your own. Make Got it. Okay, you make a tank of your own. Excellent. Are we just setting the place on fire? What are we doing? 
Or just destroying everything in it so it's unusable. Destroying yeah. everything Fazro in it. Fazro. Just we... going to Fazro it into a big pile of yeah. scrap and yeah. bolts and yeah. parts. The Rock and... Squad have, have been punching tanks apart just for fun. They didn't fight you. They're really Sorry. Good. They're like, you want to you It'd be like one of those, no. uh, one of those bit more rooms where you go with the hammer and just smash yeah. plates yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's well, a rage room now. <laughs> maybe, maybe at some point we'll like, we'll like, talk to some construction company be like yeah just pour cement just like down that <laughs> down the right spendies there. i'm going to need um quite a lot like a lot <laughs> of cement and just... all, all of the cement you have <laughs> yeah, all of it. okay all right that's a pretty good way to make sure no one's ever gonna fuck i away. love that yeah. so much okay so here's what we're going to do next i am going to i know it's a bit early but I'm gonna put us on a bit of a pause, um, because we're gonna go we're gonna go a little late today, and I want to give everybody some time to drink some water and go to the bathroom and take a deep breath. So we're gonna we're gonna take a seven minute hopefully break here, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna learn more about where we go from here and every little vignette Oof. that we have next planned. So uh, stay tuned. We'll be back. The curse is taking a hold again! Ah! We find ourselves back in the general's office, uh, having been unceremoniously shuffled inside after you landed back uh, on the Revolution base. And he speaks with you uh, very grateful. And he tells you that the tide seems to have turned in the revolution's direction. Um, and after some brief conversation, he acknowledges that you're recording Pearl. Really kind of shaky at times, but very good. Um, and it seems to be that there is some footage in there that will help a lot. Um, and that will certainly help kind of keep things rocking and rolling. And it seems there's also been just some general disruption in the Zalarian chain of command and everything that you have done recording wise and just general uh, will use as an opportunity to just put more um, wedges in everything. And he tells you that the revolution has decided to ease back on the broadcast a little bit. Um, the pirates seem to be pulling more elaborate operations lately, and they want the public to continue to see that the Zalarian Empire is not impenetrable and is able to be rocked by just your average pirate um, on the airways. Um, and he turns to you, Hieronymus, and mentions that your proposal did raise some interest and he's thought about it, and he would like to put some smart minds on the project. Um, and as he says this, our favorite little weird scientist comes uh, rocking out from outside in the hall um, with a stack of papers a, a mile high. Um, and Randy is there now. Oh, you're back. Well, I'm, very, I'm very good at doing the science, you know. And Dan, you know, I've heard that you're good at the magic and, you know, stuff. Well, I like to think I am, yeah. Yes, I Are you related to Mulbo and... No, they're Southern. Sibling? I'm just a weird old man. <laughs> I'm glad you know them, at least. No, well, I, Mulbo is... The, the, you know, the plasma fags talk a lot. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. You, you need help with something? Well, it seems that the, the aura research uh, that you've uh, brought to the table is very interesting. I was hoping to look more into it. Yeah, I think that there's a lot of things that we could do with it. I feel like we could discover a lot of things that we do previously unknown. Yeah. That sounds promising. Yeah. I mean, we, just need, we need to do, like, a lot of experiments. Just so many. It's going to fucking suck. Oh, yeah. uh, don't say that to the test subject. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. I, I kind of came into this me. knowing that it was going to kind of suck. But yeah. that's why I volunteered anyway. Yeah, you volunteered, so. We'll make sure you're really drunk the whole time. Oh. No, that might hinder the test result. Uh, well, it'll at least minimize the pain. I don't think alcohol is the solution that we want. We want Look, like Randy, a... I'm trying my best. You're right? doing awful. <laughs> oh, 
You're... <laughs> this is going to be a great partnership. Well, I mean, uh, I think that there's something to be said about our geniuses. Two so, geniuses in a row. Randy, he, he's very prickly at first, but underneath... <laughs> He'll grow to really like. Them. I don't. I don't like them. You know, just because it worked with you doesn't mean it works with everyone else. <laughs> I'm incredibly unlikable, apparently. I'm. I didn't say it. <laughs> it's okay. I my my ex-husband did. It's all right. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, do you do you want to like maybe do some experiments? We can figure some cool shit out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah whenever you guys lab. are ready. Um. Okay. Looking forward to it. Oh. All right. Well, I'm gonna go eat a sandwich. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll meet you down in the lab. All okay. Right. All right. <laughs> For the record, by the way, your landmine design was really good. Oh, I'm, you know, I did steal that design, so that one's not an original. The no. rocket toaster, however. Nah, in that case, I got nothing. <laughs> I tried. Worth a shot. <laughs> um, okay. So, tell me how these experiments go, Hieronymus and Flux. Well... What are we what are we hoping to find? And what do we find? So, uh, as is the hope, we are looking for a method of true, actual, what is effectively a soul transplant. Your entire body's essence being removed from your physical form and being put into a different one. The idea being it would be a robotic shell, probably based around the designs the Zolarians had for their droids, but modified because we want to make them more customizable and stuff. Um, and so basically we're doing extensive research where we are looking into the nature of what makes someone's aura a thing. Mm -hmm. Basically like what it means to have a spiritual essence and how it works and how it can be, you know, manipulated and removed theoretically. So instead of the making a copy and deleting the old copy, you want to find a way to actually move the essence transfer itself. the mm -hmm. essence yeah. itself. Mm -hmm. And so through thorough testing of Hieronymus transforming into others and, uh, Theoretically mimicking auras, we can see what changes and what doesn't. We can mm -hmm. use some of the aura scanning technology to to figure out more. Mm -hmm. We're looking into more details. And we're basically taking the research the Zolarians did for the transplants, and we're just going with it through a certain phase, and then we're splitting off, and we're going more in the aura research direction instead okay. of the aura copying direction. Got it. Two really smart people and a willing test subject uh, might make a difference. Yeah. Yeah. And these tests, is it just... Flux, Randy, and Hieronymus. Uh, we're bringing in Cyrus. Okay. Because Cyrus yeah. is also part of this whole thing. Okay. Even though I imagine you have no idea what's going on, Flux keeps doing the thing where he's like explaining it. He's like, <laughs> yeah. So, so if you look at this right here, you yep. can see that there's like the energy readings actually they mm -hmm. they experience. Uh, Could growth. we hurry this up? Uh, One second, I'm explaining. So you can see that the, uh, the levels go <laughs> <are> up. <open. laughs> uh, you're doing a great job. Thank you. And Cyrus you is here the, for yeah, moral you're doing support. A really bang up job over there, Flux. You can see like the knob with like a little skull on the end. It's like right next to it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So there is one final test that will give you the information that you need, Hieronymus. When. They do this one. It's different than all the others. And something about whatever they've increased or changed or added or subtracted feels different. And during your changing ability, you change a little bit during the tests. This one is harder and it gets more and more difficult and then you feel the stretchiness of you, the part of you that knows you can go from one shape to the next, start to tighten like drying dough. Mm. It's pulled out of you, and for a moment, you think that it hovers above you, and then the procedure is over, but you still feel dry. Brittle. How are you feeling? <sighs> I'm fine. I'm fine. How'd that one come out? Uh, there's a lot of data here. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think this is what we were looking for. I mean, I've been looking for a method of removal, right? And then, well, I think we got it. You look terrible. Are you all right? Did that hurt? Or no, no, no. I was, that was, that was okay. That was fine. That was good. Sounds like your throat's dry. You want some water? Uh, uh sure, sure, whatever. Give yeah. him, give him some water. Mm -hmm. 
Anything else you need, buddy? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I just need to rest a little bit. You know, I'm not the best at raiding people, but that sounds like a fucking lie. Really? Oh, yeah. Because that's always been your strong suit, is telling when people are lying or telling the truth. <laughs> Promise it sounds like you're lying. Yeah, all right. So anyway, <clears throat> I'll be fine. I just need a couple of days. That was, that was rough. I'm not going to lie. It was rough. That was rough. But if we got good data, it's all worth it, right? Tell us if you, uh, if anything changes, all right? Of course, of course. Anything you can figure out. Hey, you got any of them, uh, noodles? Yeah, always. Awesome. We go, I go to the fridge, open it up, it's just noodles. <laughs> <laughs> like, you requested them, of course we have them. Good, good. You've been in the lab every day for, like, the last eight months. So, passing you some noodles. <laughs> yeah, you, you take them and you go out in the hall. Yeah, yeah. And walking very, very... Gingerly and and uh, not terribly uh, uh, kind of like uh, a, a bit like uh, Jack Nicholson at the end of Cuckoo's Nest, you know, where he's kind of just. <laughs> Is he? Uh, he's gonna be all right. I uh, that test wasn't supposed to leave lasting damage. It was more of a something you pluck out and put back in, you know. Yeah, test and go. All right, don't always know. That's why they're tests. I'm gonna look at the computers and see if I can figure out anything from our data we collected. Yeah. See if I can figure out. It's like is something is something up with his vitals or anything like that. What? No, no. I mean, everything's going just right. I don't get it. He'll probably make a full recovery. He's resilient. Yeah. You know him. Yeah. But maybe you should check on him later. Yeah. Yeah. Well, phase two, right? Phase two. You read the notes I gave you, right? I, I skimmed over them. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about them tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, out in the hall, Hieronymus, you hold up a hand to try to change it into a claw or something branchy. And nothing changes. <sighs> oh well. Okay. So we're going to find ourselves now back where we started watching a broadcast flicker to life and you see a group of very drunk pirates who go yeah it's us the golden blaze we just stole a whole baby <laughs> that squids of eternity oh, no. <laughs> and um and all of us at home are just like hey yay. <laughs> and uh we're going to watch another broadcast on the screen. This plays on several screens at once. Hello all. This is Captain Smiten of the newly founded Plasma Claws. You may remember a crew of a similar name, but that one is no more as we wish to start anew. And what better way to do so than by taking over an establishment run by Zalarian scum to set up our new headquarters? It's a bit... <laughs> Worse for wear, but is anyone surprised that the Zalarians didn't give a shit and made their employees work in such horrid conditions? I didn't think so. Basically had them working in the equivalent of a dingy basement. We did those people a favor by kicking them out of here, and we'll make this place hospitable for us in no time. But I digress. I have business with a different group of bastards now. Ether bastards. Call me. There's much to be discussed. I have never been so threatened by a woman telling me to call her. <laughs> uh, but also so turned on. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, we're going to find ourselves now in a lab again. Uh, it's very similar setup to the one in the catacombs, only it's not quite as bright and impersonal. 
There are two large forms covered by white cloths next to a simple examination table and a large tank filled halfway with a bright emerald fluid. We are finding ourselves now with Cyrus and Fluff. How are you feeling? Well... Uh... Ask me again when this is over. Yeah, yeah. Our, uh... To be honest, I'm, um, I'm nervous. Not like I have much of another choice or anything, because by my calculations, I've got a few weeks left. Yeah, well... Mm. I understand that. I'll... <laughs> I'll go first. If something uh, goes wrong, I don't want it to happen to you. Flux. Cyrus, you have longer to live than I do. You looked over all the notes. You know how this stuff works. If something goes wrong, <clears throat> you just undo it. Flux. You're not going first. I'm not? No. It's my project. If it fails, it's on me. It may be your project, but if something goes wrong, you're the only one who can fix it. This could help others, and you know it. Yeah, I know. What... What good am I for? I'm I am turning to crystal. Yeah, you're like what, like forty five percent now or something? Yeah, uh, sixty five. Oh shit! I fucked around with it a little bit more. Oh, it's a, you know just you can't no. use this as an excuse to be reckless. It's not just a second life, you know. I know, but it does give me a second chance to make sure that you and Pearl and probably Hieronymus too don't. Fuck everything up. And if it doesn't work, then you are around to fix everything else. It's gonna work. Well, we just put too much time in it for it to not work. I trust you. And I trust it'll work, but I want to make sure that if anything goes wrong, you're here to fix it. And you can't do that by going first. Not this time. You know, I hate it because you, you make it sound so reasonable that you're recklessly running into things again. Yeah, I'm pretty good at that, actually. <sighs> Look, I, just... I convinced someone else once upon a time, too, so. Get in the tank. I'll see you. All right. There is no the tank. tank for Cyrus. There is just a tank. Okay. Well, uh, I take the that table. back then. <laughs> Get on the table. Iris does not want his body back. Nope. All right. Let's, let's do it. Let's do this. These straps are for your own good. <laughs> so going to make sure you don't move too much. Right. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. And, uh... It's probably going to hurt a lot. Yeah. And there's nothing I can give you because halfway through you're going to be in a different body and... It's fine. Yeah. I've been through a lot of pain before. Multiple times. It's fine. Got any last minute uh, things you want me to add to your new body? I can customize it after you're in it. Give it a mohawk. I'll and a beard. A Wait, I have a mohawk. That's not fair. Whatever. Damn it! <laughs> Give it a magical mohawk then. Make Fine, it different. I'll, do, I'll make it like a shoot fire or something. But we're yeah. gonna do it after you're in it. I'm not doing it any later. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna start the process. Uh -huh. So we're gonna we're gonna start grabbing a bunch of machines. It's like a lot of those like hanging medical things where yeah. you like swing them over uh -huh. and there's like a big old helmet you put on. Yeah. Like a metal like. Colander. Yeah, <laughs> just goes over his head. I love Don't it. you dare give me four arms! I swear to God. No, I'm not giving you four arms. It's fine. You'll you'll be fine. Okay. Right, some elbow right to the wrist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm just putting putting a bunch of things down. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to go over to the machine that I've been working on, which effectively looks like it's like a big old crane device with like a big claw on the end mm. that's got like five different points that mm -hmm. are like have like these little electrical nodes on the end that are sparking a little bit. And I'm yeah. Like, like internally, Flux is like, this looks so fucking awful, but it's gonna be great. It's gonna, it's gonna be, be great. Yeah. Um, and so I go over to it and I start hitting some buttons in and I'm like, you're going to want to do everything you can to relax. So think of something pleasant. 
Okay. And when you open your eyes, everything will be just a little bit different. Gonna hit the big red button on the start. <laughs> There's two of them. <laughs> yeah. For no reason. One says go, one says oh god, why? <laughs> so I'm hitting the go button. Okay, the go button. Sitting there sweating. Yeah, uh... sweating. <laughs> <laughs> the meme all over again. Why did I do this? Um, yeah. Plus, How does this did go? Good job. Uh, well, um, so I think it, it's one of those things where it's probably a lengthy process mm -hmm. because basically the idea is it, it's literally drawing energy out, holding on to it, and then restructuring it in a different creature. Um, so it's going to take a little while. Um, but as it goes through, it's probably horribly painful, but whatever Cyrus is thinking about is probably what keeps him grounded, right? Yep. There's a moment when you notice you are no longer feeling your life form anymore. Okay. You are, you notice the switch into the metal body. It's really abrupt. You thought it might be a little smoother, but it's just a moment. It's almost a blink. And then you, you know, there's a couple, you can feel it. You're like, I got to wait a couple more moments to get a couple more bits and bobs of me in there. And then you're in it. What does this look like, Cyrus? Oh. What is your... What is um, your new body? It's definitely doing the thing where there's like a big tube filled with like, like, and it all <laughs> pours out so we can we can just see it for the first time. The big sheet comes off of the form. Cyrus. Yeah. Holy. Step out. I'm just gonna yeah walk out. What does it look like? The body is about a foot taller. Um, <laughs> 13 feet tall. I still can't, I still can't believe you decided I am to be taller. setting this record straight yeah. now. Cyrus was only six foot four. Okay. And so every time we talked about him, he got taller. He got every taller. time we talked about it, he got taller. So he's, he's now seven, seven foot. Four. Okay. Seven yeah. foot even? Seven foot four. You know, if four. this is normal for your species, where did it go with me? If it makes you feel any better, I was considered real short. You look great. Yeah. <laughs> um, the body is more of like a coppery brass color. Eyes are the same. Okay. Uh, there's two arms. There are um, two hooves, just like before. He's a little bit slimmer. Um, there are magic um, cracks, but not cracks. They're more in the design flowing throughout the entire body, and it is the emerald green color. Um, and then the hooves also do have magic flowing out from them, because they're a little bit quieter. Got it. You know, I don't want to pat myself on the back, but I think it's a pretty good design. Yeah, it is pretty, pretty damn impressive. I'm going to walk over to you and just... And you can feel that? Yep. And you can feel that? Yep. All right, and what about there? Nope. Yes. <laughs> God. Lay back on the tape. I'm going to push Cyrus's body. <laughs> Just on the ground? Yeah. No, oh, yes, God. I can feel it. <laughs> Not to, you know, be unceremonious about it, but I need to make sure you still work. So I'm laying you I, back down. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm basically doing, I'm prodding him. Yeah. Basically just making sure everything works. Should all be in good order. Cyrus, you can feel two legs again. <laughs> First time in, in a forever. long time. It looks like everything all worked. You did a good job. Thanks. And, uh... Yeah, thank you. Never heard that before. Or you. And so... Thank you. We should definitely give Elmira a visit after I've switched. Absolutely. Just rub it in her face. Yep. Yeah, alright. Yeah. All right, I wrote everything down in a note card, so you're just gonna follow these directions. All right, so you're gonna, it's gonna be this set of button, yep. and then you're gonna open up, okay, you're gonna open that window. Yep. Right, I'm just gonna like walk through every single thing, because I know he will. He did yeah. not read the instructions. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, Flux, there is a tank for you. Yep, I'm gonna slowly submerge myself in. Mm. Putting on the swimsuit. Yeah. <laughs> gonna dunk myself in at this point. Uh-huh. You're and, dunked. Um, I put on like the breather and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Gonna like look over at you, just give you a big thumbs up, and close the eyes. 
part. You press the button that says, oh god, no! <laughs> no, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna follow the instructions. Button. Yeah, you follow the instructions. And... Does it work the same? Um, so it is... It's still the same device, because mm -hmm. I didn't build a different device for, for the thing, but it's basically like, instead of interacting directly with the form, there's a bunch of cables that Flux has hooked up to all over his body, mm -hmm. and the device is going over the tube and basically plugging into it, and you can see that as it moves, you can see there's like energy being drawn up and out of the form. Okay. Um, and as it happens, you can see it's like it's like bleeding like this this inky black like like energy out as this process goes. It's there's a lot of corrupted stuff in there that it's basically pulling out to make sure it doesn't damage anything. Yeah. Um, but it's also a long process, and so probably longer actually because we're trying to keep the body alive. Yeah. <laughs> Cyrus's brain is just like mush, like his old it's one. It's just gone. So this one takes a little longer. Um. But yeah, after probably, I don't know, probably like three hours or some crazy shit like that, uh, eventually the transfer would be complete. Flux, for you, there's a moment where you feel both. You're in your body and in the robot body. It, it's not long. It's right before the switch happens. But you have a moment where it is duplicitous and you are two, and then you're fully in one. Reach up the hand, slowly tap on the glass so Cyrus knows to hit the button to open the door. <laughs> hit the button, like, uh... Um, I think just for dramatic effect, uh, the, the extra long mechanical arms, like the tentacle arms, very Doc Ock. It's, it's awesome. Are, are you okay? Just sort of reach out and <laughs> grab onto the front and pull me out, so I'm just sort of, like, floating there. So, like, the tentacles are, like, holding me up, and I'm like, this is nice. <laughs> This is very nice. Price, I had to make a grand man? entrance. <laughs> who is this man? I... You know, your body was good, but... <laughs> this one. Okay. So, Flux's new form is very similar in tone to Pearl's. It's, it's that sort of like silvery, grayish white tone. Um, similar sort of facial structure, it's based off of the exact same design. Also got four arms, but on the back, instead of the old organic tentacles, it's got the long, like, like claw-like tentacles instead. How many? Uh, only four this time, but I have the two extra limbs, so it worked out. Um, the eyes are his original shade of green, like that, like, acidic, uh, gl almost glowing green. And where his head is, instead of any sort of hair or anything, it's a jut of, like, the magic crystals that are all, like, sticking out in a fucking mohawk, baby! Yeah! <laughs> like, spiky, like, short, spiky mohawk. And he's also got like a bunch of tubes that connect from like the back of the skull and down the neck into like places on his back. Mm -hmm. As he steps out and just sort of looks around. And I think Robin, you're sending the art to the channel, right? Absolutely. Yes. Oh. So if you'd like to see the yeah. art, get in the Discord. Yeah. <laughs> Go look. Because our moderators won't let us put images or links in the chat. <laughs> yeah. The Switch chat. God. Yeah. I that, do that one's have my to fault. say, uh, he does suit you better. Yeah, well, unlike the last one, this one's actually mine. <coughs> I'm gonna look back over it, flex his old body, sort of submerged in the tank, and walk over to it. You decided to keep it. I did. Call it sentimental value. That's fair enough. As much as I've always hated it, it was what got me to this point. Yeah, you're right. And... The more I know about the mutant project, the more I can help the others. So, maybe. But for now, we should go do something. Anything. <laughs> what sounds fun? I am. <laughs> Thanks, God. Thanks, God. <laughs> Thanks, God. <laughs> Robot hug. <laughs> We could do, you know, blow shit up or destroy oh, yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's go let's throw a baseball up. together. <laughs> 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 All right. You guys can decide what you're doing later. Because uh. this is not helping my epilogue along. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, I'm glad you're having a good time. Okay. 
We cut to another broadcast. Several pirates crowd the screen, including an intimidating and sharp looking life form, a robot wearing a top hat, a green crystalline life form, and several big buff aliens. <laughs> and one of them says, Greetings, citizens of the Zalarian Empire. We are the hottest, baddest ass pirate crew in the galaxy, the Squids of Eternity. You may have noticed if you follow the Zalarian news cycle a lack of a certain angular life form by the name of Vad. They made the mistake of promising something to the Squids and then going back on that promise. Prepare to be dazzled by the incredible exploits of the Squids of Eternity. <laughs> Is this the fucking French guy we let go? No. Because uh, that would have been I would have done a worse accent. All right. We're going to find ourselves now on the gangplank of a bright and shiny new sailor sta solar sail, excuse me, where there are four of you on the gangplank, three of you standing on the top as you say your goodbyes. Yeah, so uh, so Hieronymus is there, uh, and he's uh, uh, kind of... Uh, Still a little bit hunched over and walking with a cane. Um, his uh, his once lustrous purple skin is now kind of ashy and uh, whatever. And uh, he says, uh, "Well, it's been uh, it's been an adventure, and uh, I look forward to watching you guys on the vids." Are you certain you don't want to say? You know, I, uh, I was retired when Dev originally contacted me about this and, uh, this one last job. And, uh, I, I think that this is, this is something you guys got. You don't, you don't need me. You guys have this all taken care of and, uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna sit back and, and enjoy watching your exploits from afar. I, I think this probably happened before we switched. Sure. So, yeah. yeah. I, we still need our captain. I don't. It's not gonna be the same without you, you know? Yeah, really. You don't. In fact, uh, that, uh, you know, you know who would make a great captain for you guys? A captain smite lady. I'm no, not... seriously, seriously. You know. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. I'll take my shit. Be uh, accumulated, and uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll invest it in a in a business of some sort. We'll see what happens. Well, I made you a parting gift, and it's just like a giant basket of noodles. <sighs> <sighs> Those look delicious. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. You'd better send us a fax every once in a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let us know what you're up to. For sure, absolutely. Yeah, I will definitely stay in touch with you guys. And out of trouble. <sighs> Do I look like I'm in any shape to be getting any more trouble? I mean, I know you. I so. think you're more clever than you give yourself credit for. <laughs> yeah, I still think you could get into quite a bit of trouble. Yeah, well, anyways, uh... I know none of us are looking for a uh, long, smushy goodbye, so... I'm gonna hug him. Ow! Oh, ow! Sorry, sorry, oh. I forgot that you're more fragile now. I am... Hieronymus, <sighs> <laughs> I am sorry. No, don't be. Don't be. This... This is as good an outcome as I could have hoped for, really. But it's not good for you. It is. It is. I get to I get to sit around all day and eat noodles, and I don't have to worry about getting shot or stabbed or hunted down by a bunch of crazy evil scientists who want to experiment on me. And I don't have to put up with you anymore. That's going to be a big plus, you know. I'll miss you too. Yeah. I'll miss. But I got you all a little something, and uh, he reaches in and he gets a, a little. Uh, like a little metal, right? A little, like a, a little thing that goes to Cyrus. And they're, 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 they're robot forms no, now? No, this, oh, this is before they before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cyrus, you're the, you're the bravest person I ever met. Just pins it right onto your chest there. Oh. Pearl! He pulls out another thing. It's this heart-shaped thing, and he says, 
You got the biggest heart I've ever seen, and just sticks it right to you. Then he pulls out a piece of paper and says, and I'm gonna miss you most of all. And he hands you a diploma. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of something. <laughs> yeah, I can't quite put my finger on it. I can't quite. <laughs> yeah. Just a little fourth wall breaking for you all to remember me by. Slowly put the diploma in the bag, <laughs> just glaring at you. Hieronymus. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank all of you. I, uh... I feel like, uh, like I've definitely... Despite all this, I feel like I've come out ahead in this exchange, so thank you all. Without you, the universe wouldn't be a better place. And so... Yeah, we thank you for Without that. Without all of us, it wouldn't be. You're right. Team. I group. should take more credit from you. You should. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I'm leaving now before uh, before my old, desiccated, dried up husks of eyes start leaking. So. Make sure to moisturize. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just like hand you my tub of Vaseline. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll invest in a in a nice coffee shop. I know a I know a barista who. Who really could probably run a heck of a business. I think it sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a great idea. All we'll right. come around. That's where we leave the four of you. Now I'm sad. Now we're all <laughs> sad. We're going to cut to another broadcast where a jingle plays. I can't find a lawyer who understands the complexities of my superstar lifestyle. I need an out-of-this-world attorney. Fear not, my celestial friend. Your Star Strider is here. Who, who are you? Where are we? An out-of-this-world attorney, you say. Will I bring a supernova of justice? Who are you talking to? Are you drowning? Are you in a sea of astral debt? Do you have a life debt to the Zalarian Empire? The who now? For all your trite problems, call the galaxy's keenest attorney. Rolato Star Strider, where law meets the cosmos. Call now and reach for the stars. Your Rolato Star Strider is not a licensed attorney. He cannot be held legally responsible for any extraordinary body modifications, harm, torture, loss of limbs, loss of money, or any transaction conducted in trite. Your Rolato Star Strider. Kill that man? <laughs> I cannot believe he actually made it through. Oh, I have to tell Ronimus. Who was that guy? <laughs> oh, he seemed odd. I wasn't there. Uh, and that was, um, remember when me and Ronimus wouldn't tell you exactly what happened? Do not tell me you got involved with that man. That you man. You know him? Yep. Unfortunately. Oh. God, you know what? I don't want to hear about it. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll and we find anonymous. ourselves now at the next broadcast. It cuts it from a, into a traditional news broadcast. The anchor talking about another archaeological find to suddenly show a very tall with mint green skin, uh, tied back silver hair, and an incredible beard. And they say, so the Zalarians think they're untouchable. 
You haven't seen untouchable until you've met death and death turned away. The Red Talons are not a roster list of individuals. We are a belief that the oppressive nature of Zalarians does not define you. You choose your destiny. We're going to find ourselves now in a little coffee shop. And it's a, it's a big coffee shop, actually. It's pretty big. And it's pretty bustling. Um, and on the front, it says, Ether Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the door rings, the bell rings, and uh, you see a very uh, excited and happy Yama who goes, hello. Yeah. And uh, somebody uh, walks in and uh, has a seat uh, at the table and uh, says, oh, whoa, this is a really nice coffee shop you have here. Uh, oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Uh, what what do you recommend? Ooh, um, well, magical or not magical? Oh, let's let's go for magical today. Okay, magical. I'm going to recommend one of our famous magical lattes with oat milk, because dairy fucks with magic. Oh, oh, that sounds great. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want any flavor in that? Um, surprise me. Okay, I love a surprise. Um, and you get a beautiful. A uh, latte with some latte art on top, um, and it's in the shape of a coffee cup inside the coffee cup. It's like a little Marietta doll of coffee cups and yeah, the latte yeah. art. Perfect. Um, yeah. And you take a sip, and it is delicious caramel latte, and you feel so much better. Whatever ills were plaguing you, feel better. Well, I must say. I've had a lot of coffee and a lot of cafes across the universe, uh -huh. but this is the best coffee I've ever had. You don't know how much I've been so nervous about running my own business, but um, that means a lot. Thank you so much. Oh, sure. Thank you. Um, anything else I can get for you? Biscotti. Oh, yeah, certainly. I can certainly do that. Wait. Yeah. Do you sell noodles? <laughs> um... <laughs> No, but sometimes we get a food truck outside, and there's noodles from there. Oh, that sounds fantastic. You'll have to come back tomorrow when we have the food truck. Great. And then uh, the person who, uh, who's who been ordering the coffee turns away, looks at the camera, <laughs> and winks. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> All right. Every day, it seems like a new hacked broadcasts are being put out. The public in love with a new group of pirates every day. And then a very unique hacked broadcast goes out. Attention all pirate hunters. This is Scuff speaking. That's right, I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. But I've been hiding out on a remote planet, plotting my revenge. Now, I bet you're wondering, how do I even know that Pirate Hunters watch this broadcast? Well, I'll tell you, it's because I'm a bloody genius. And it's also because one of your own, KLC, defected to my team. Because I'm such a genius. Or because you guys don't offer benefits, which, like, why don't you? Don't you have enough money? Either way, I now know all your dirty little secrets, and I will get my revenge, and you will rue the day that- <laughs> <laughs> that poor fucking guy. <laughs> Somewhere else in the galaxy of voicemail plays. Yama. Hi. Um. Sorry to send this so early. I, uh, I couldn't sleep last night, so I got up and I made a cup of coffee exactly the way you taught me. It's not quite right. It's close. It's close. Um. Anyway, I, I thought I'd come down and I'd, I'd walk on the beach. It's nice to be on a beach on purpose. Um, I even thought about bringing my new violin, but, you know, um, sand. Anyway, while I was walking, uh, one of the suns started rising. And it's just... It's just so beautiful. And it, well, look, <laughs> it 
reminded me of you. Um, I hope you're doing well. Talk soon. You had her play Schmel. I oh, did. Because Schmel's her favorite character. <laughs> My God. This is so much I bargained for, and I'm ready to die. <laughs> yeah, a couple more tricks oh, up my sleeve, but before we do that, there is a moment on the Revolution base where Pearl, you are alone for just one moment. And another unfamiliar face walks up to you. Well, hi there. Oh, hello. Are you looking for the recruiting station? Uh, no, actually. I was looking... How are you? I know, it's an odd question, but... I haven't seen another android that looks like me in a long time. Oh, um, and she would kind of like twirl a ring that's on her upper left ring finger. I I'm fine. I'm just getting some work done. You're wearing a ring. Are you engaged? No, no. Um, someone. Very important to me. He gave it to me a, a long time ago. I see. Um, is, is there something I can help you with? May I ask who gave it to you? I know it's very personal, but... One last question and I'll leave. Um... I... I'm not... His name's Flux. I, uh... I... And you see, like, just the, the pain hit her face. She's like, I, um... I'm not quite certain if he's around anymore. Um, I would have called him my boyfriend, but, um... We had to, we had to go our separate ways to do things, and I'm working with the Rebellion, and, you know, it's a long, complicated story. I'm sorry, can I help you with something? Something about that ring that I wanted to say. The magic that it carries in it. It only functions so long as the person who gave it that magic lives. Really? Yeah. And I believe it still gives you access to further circles of spells, yes? Are you trying to tell me that he's still around? I'm sorry I didn't visit. I'm sorry? I'm going to, uh, kind of kneel back. You're sitting, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, gonna... just, like, two hands are typing, other hands are, like, moving documents I'm, I'm around. I'm going to kneel down next to you and say, at the end, the process was very intensive, and I didn't have time to leave my work so I couldn't come visit. Do you like my new face? I modeled it after yours. Are you being funny right now? Absolutely not, Pearl. You promise you're not playing a joke on me? I'm going to stand back up, hold out all four arms. She's going to <laughs> leave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, you know, I'm stronger now, so I can actually hold you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna put you back down, and we're like, roughly similar heights now. Like, there's like an extra little inch on Flex's end. Oh, you're taller. <laughs> I... I thought I might as well. Cyrus added an entire foot. You should see him. It's been almost a year, I thought show you didn't make it. Like I said, I... I couldn't afford to leave. I was under a bit of a time crunch. Oh my god, oh sorry, I... I... am gonna put both hands on the side of your face. I never added tear ducts, but... I know... If you would, I'm gonna put like a thumb next to your eye. I missed you. 
I'm gonna pull her and I'm gonna kiss her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna kiss him so hard. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh, graphic. We gotta go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the tentacles on Flex's back, grab mm. one of the ceiling, and just pull them out of the room. Oh, uh, <laughs> cute and gross. So, all right. We oh cut to god. another broadcast. It's very hard to tell if this broadcast is supposed to be playing, if it's a hack stream or not. Come on down to Wolgar's Ways. We have everything you need. Our inventory changes a day. Don't see what you're looking for? We do custom orders! Enjoy a nice hot cup of noodles while you eat. Wolgar's Ways. Your one-stop shop for all your spacefaring needs. God, I'm so glad Walgar's still around. Yeah, I love the comics. So happy. Is Big fan still... of the comics. Fans. Yeah. All right. Oh, amazing. One last time, there is a small, dark room with a single light, and a droid prepares to make a broadcast. The hollow cam hums to life, and she clears her throat. <clears> Hello. <throat> My name is Eurydice, or at least it was, until the Zalarians unceremoniously ripped me from my own body and put me in this one. I go by Pearl now, and you'd do well to remember that. I'm under the impression that there are still many of you who think that our Zalarian government has your best interests at heart, and I am here to tell you for certain that they do not. Now you may be thinking to yourself, oh, what could she have possibly done to deserve such a thing? I'll tell you exactly what I did. And she would um, project uh, the files from the Eurydice project so they can see them. Um, and she says, absolutely nothing. I was simply a nanny to the most wonderful child in the wrong place at the wrong time. And all of the rebellion and the pirates that you call criminals and scoundrels are all simply victims the same, who are fighting for not only our right to live, but yours. And I dare not ask you to brandish weapons and try and fight alongside us for what I do ask of you is that you stand up against the injustice of the world and that you help your fellow citizens while we make it a better place. And for any Zalarians watching, and her eyes will shift red, we are the ones who took Archmage Almira out of the equation and your neck. End broadcast. Ooh. End broadcast that is the end of our wonderful weird crazy space pirate journey before we go i have several things to do i have lots of things so stick around first of all i'm going to start with thank you so much for watching if you're watching right now if you're watching two years from now thank you thank you Stories mean nothing without an audience to watch them. So thank you. I want to go through a very long laundry list of thanks because I think it's very important to acknowledge all of the work that went into this. This is not a singular person's project. This is all of our projects. Real quick, I want to thank everybody who helped me with the broadcast today. So shout out to and thank you to Lindsay. Thank you to Spencer. Thank you to Eric for appearing in that video. Thank you to Nina. Thank you to Taylor for being my lovely schmel. Thank you to Colorado for playing Walgar of Walgar's <laughs> Wares. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Extra special thanks. I'm gonna read all these names again because all of our guests were crucial to making this show continue to happen. Thank you to Nina, to Brad, to Spencer, to Taylor, to Lindsay. Um, thank you to our crew. Thank you to Molly in the control room. Thank you to Brian in the control room. Thank you to our past crew, Brandon, Alex Jumel, Mariana. Uh, thank you to our mods, Taylor once again, Riley, Gabby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And special thanks to everybody else who helped with this project. 
Colorado, this project would not have happened without you. Thank you. I love you. Have fun with your wedding. Kaylee, Lindsay, Michael, Jesse, Community Access Media, all the staff at Community Access Media, Radius Cowork, Jarrett, Casey, Reagan, Faustian Nonsense, Early Test Players, and Early Access Supporters. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, as voted on by our audience, I have some superlatives to award. Oh, no. Uh -oh. So, uh -oh. Oh, oh, no. You actually have a briefcase. I have oh, a shit. briefcase. <laughs> Why did I not know that? We're going to start know. with the Health is Experience Glue to Molly Cook. Thank you for keeping the show together. This is yours. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can come out and get it later. Um, oh, I'm just going by how this is. This is not in any particular order, although Molly should have been first. Um, that makes sense. Awarded most curse rolls. <laughs> it's our very own uh, list. Yay! 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 <laughs> the superlative of most likely to make health hits experience go viral is Lindsay, our social media Woo! manager. Thank you. Um, uh, superlative of biggest nerf target. You know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes! Yes! Absolutely. I'm very proud of this. Uh, one. Thank you. I'd like to thank my parents for making me a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> superlative of most phone calls received goes to Colorado Brown. Yeah, that sounds I've about right. Thank so you, many times. I almost called him on stream several times. <laughs> this uh, superlative of perfect camera switches goes to Brian, who is not here right now, but I will award this to him another time. Very true. Yay, Thank Brian! You. Uh, as uh, voted on by, again, this is the audience helping me out here. Best props goes to Rob Bush. Yeah. yeah. They very much yeah. liked your uh, Rippers props a lot. Oh, they were yeah. so yeah. good. Uh, and uh, I was absolutely accurate with this superlative. Most real tears cried on camera <laughs> goes to Robin. Yay. <laughs> As if I wasn't just currently sobbing. Yeah, you were currently just sobbing. Uh, four, keeping us everything tallied up. Tally ho goes to Riley. Thank you very much. Woo! Thank you, Riley. And. Who I get to hand to in person. Biggest Schmel supporter goes to Taylor. Yay! Thank you. If you didn't hear, there was a Yay! great yell from off camera. Oh, um, I've got a couple more things. Um, Molly also has things. We're going to oh, start. God, oh, God. So many no. things. There's so many things. This is for you two over here. And then what, this the is for you oh, two. Dear. I oh, love oh, bags. Oh, I love bags. bags. You guys can, can open I... those. And I'm going to grab my Molly present. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Oh no. Oh no. I'm ready, but I'm, I don't know if <laughs> I'm, I'm not ready. ready. <laughs> <laughs> I oh spent a year playing Make Believe Online and all the government yes! shirts. Yes! yes! <laughs> and on the back, they have our, our names on them. Yeah. Nice! Yes! yes! All right. And one last thing it says uh, most of these, I believe, say fragile, just like my feelings, handle oh, with yes. care. Yes. Oh, so no. if we all want to open Molly's gift here at the end. Yeah. Yeah! yeah thanks, thank you, Molly! Thank you, oh, my oh my god! Uh, Molly! Oh Molly, what is what <laughs> the fuck? Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at you! <laughs> what? Look at him! This is <laughs> good. I got Shell and Yama! Oh my god, what? Thank you so much! Oh this my is god. so good! This is incredible! God, did you make these by Look hand? This. Look at all. Oh my, oh my god, Molly! Incredible. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Pay real money to Molly, though. Pay real money to Molly. These are Okay. Real. All right. Um, wow. Um, I don't know how to handle that. Yeah. I yeah. do. Thank you again Thank for you watching. So much. Thank you, everybody, for playing and for saying yes to when I asked. <laughs> um, Thank you for everybody who else has made this show possible. Um, I truly is not, I do like one thing and it show up here. Um, and it's great. And it's great. Every week. It's fantastic. And I get to shoot people with Nerf guns. It's awesome. And I'm the biggest target. And you're the biggest target. And maybe that superlative will be someone else next season. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna steal it from um, you. <laughs> so I, just one last closing remark, I think before we go, I'm not gonna get mushy because nah, we don't need that. Um, but what I will say is if you enjoy what we're doing, if you like it, and you want to see these chuckle fucks do it again, <laughs> then I need you to support us in as many ways as you can. Watch the VOD, comment on the VOD, share them with your friends, comment on social media, share social media. We're going to still try to be active on social media and in the Discord because 
this show isn't over. Even if we decided to not do another round of this, there's still so much more to do. Apparently there is a lot of fan fiction yet to be released. <laughs> So, so much. so much. So there's there's just something to be said about continuing to uh, enjoy the story that we've told. Um, but I beg, beg your patience, because I want to do something bigger and something better for a season two. But it yeah. does not happen overnight. Uh, as much as I make the joke about I don't do anything, I do some things. And do a lot of things. It's, it's going to take a little bit of work on my end to make a season two happen. So once again, your support will make it happen. And if I can get my shit together, there's going to be more ways to support than just word of mouth. But that is the biggest way to do it right now. I promise you. And now is the time to start someone from the beginning. It truly, True. truly it's is. It's the great, great, greatest part to start. Jeez, I can't start talk. again. <laughs> We're going to start again. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of this. And uh, we're out! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>